Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Solarship here, back with another video. In today's video, guys, up on request, we have got an admin menu for you guys. Um, so if I tag at S and give myself um, owner, so let's give myself owner. As you can see, we can now open up the ban menu using the diamond. Now you guys can change the item to whatever you guys want, but um, we've got it as a diamond and you guys can change that in the prefix. But if we open up the admin menu, you guys can see we've got a ban menu, a kick player, mute menu, clone inventory, clears and game modes. So let's show you how a few of these work. So here we've got my second account. Let's just give it a few items just like so. Um, and now let's go to clone inventory and we will clone its inventory. Now this is going to clear my inventory and give me everything that that player has got. So uh, from previous testing, they've got some other things as well. As you guys can see, we now have um, this inventory of SIW Solus in the exact place that it is in so now there's a piece of armor on uh, my second account now if i give myself a diamond again you guys can change this to whatever item you want and now we actually uh, you guys can see i've got no uh, leggings on or anything like that so now if we go to clone inventory and we clone siw solace as you guys can see we've now got the netherite leggings on as well and if these were damaged it would also show the damage um so yeah that is the clone inventory. Now we can also go to clears and we can clear the inventory. So we can clear their ender chest or their inventory and click submit. And as you guys can see, their inventory is now being cleared. Um, we can ban the player, we can kick the player and we can mute the player. Now, if we go to the ban menu, you guys can see we can ban the player, we can unban players, we can get a ban from a player or we can uh, go back to the admin menu. So let's click on ban player. And you guys can see we can pick a user. So live player means online players. So we'll pick a user and we'll click on my second account. And if the player was offline, this is where you would type their name in. Now the ban time, you can set one day, two day, three days, um, seven days, 14, 30, 60, or forever if you want to ban them forever. Then you would obviously give them a reason. So we could just be like, El Bozo, you didn't sub to me. <laughs> And then we can click, uh, you know, are you sure you want to do this? And then click on submit. And as you guys can see, they are gone. Now I will get the screenshot on screen of what that said to my second account. So this is the screenshot. Um, but yeah, you can also uh, do that with kick player mute menu as well. So the kick player will just obviously kick them out of the game. Uh, it's the exact same menu, but we can't open it. Um, because there's no players online. Um, same with the mute menu, um, mute player. Uh, we would obviously pick a user, but obviously no one's online right now. But as you guys can see, it's the exact same format. Um, but yeah, this was made by the boss 9345. Um, so let's head over to his GitHub, which will be down in the description. And I'll show you guys how to get this and how you guys can edit this to your liking. So guys, here we are on the boss 9345's GitHub. Um, the link to this will be in the description straight to the admin menu. Make sure to give him a star if you do enjoy this menu. Um, and props to him for making it for me to give to you guys. Now, if you guys want to read about it a little bit more, you guys can go through this little readme file. But um, as you guys can see, special thanks to the boss um, for making this uh, this pack for you guys um but yeah so what you guys want to do is click on code here and then click on download zip and then you guys want to head over to your com.mojang uh folder so your com.mojangs folder here go into development behavior packs and put it inside of there from there we can then open up a visual studio code and go inside of the admin menu then guys go to scripts and go down to the config.js now inside of here, you guys can set up roles for it and you can also set up what the item is to open up the menu, what tag you need to actually be able to use the menu and uh, all of the uh, textures down here as well. 
So what we're going to be focusing on is this little bit right here, which is the admin tags. I'm going to show you guys how to set this up now. So if we wanted admins just have access to the ban, then we can do that. But if we want them to also have access to clears as well, you guys would just get um, something from up here. So clears and you guys would copy and paste it or just type it out like this. So clears crew. Now, if we save that and then open up Minecraft here and load into the world. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the owner tag and give ourselves the admin tag. So at s remove and then we're going to remove owner. Now we're going to add admin just like that. Now, if we open up this, as you guys can see, we only have access to clears and ban. But now if we open this up again and we put a comma down and add mute to the mix as well. So mute and set that to true and click save then open up minecraft and we do a forward slash reload because it's in our development behavior packs so we can forward slash reload and as you guys see we have access to the mute menu as well but then again just one more example if we wanted to take away the ban menu we can also do that and um then we would do forward slash reload and we would only have access to the mute and the clears now if you wanted to add a brand new tag maybe owner admin and you had junior mod for example um you would obviously add junior mod here then you would put uh some curly brackets and then you would give it permissions so if we just wanted to give the access to clears then we would do that and they would only have access to clears there we go um, so yeah, we have obviously Solus Junior Mod and we only have access to clears as you guys can see. So that is the admin menu. And again, the link to this is in the description. You guys can go play around with this um, and stuff like that. You guys can make as many roles. It's fully customizable. Um, if you guys want to edit the um, other files as well, then go right ahead. It is yours to do so um, as there's an MIT license in it and the boss 9345 has spe uh, specially made this uh, for me to give to you guys. So go ahead and give him a star on his GitHub um, and let him know that I sent him to you guys. But anyway, don't forget to like the video if it has helped you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, again, thank you for 1,000 uh, 1, subscribers. I got a voice crack there. Thank you for 1,000 subs. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video. It's been your boy Solus. Don't forget to stay Solus. Peace.